All right, welcome to Falcon Blues TV. Everton one, Luton two in the 96 minutes of added time. And Everton are out of the FA Cup. 30 years without the trophy, looking great stuff. Um, tried, they tried to change it up a little bit today by having uh, two up front with Beto and Calvert Loon. Didn't work that well. Um, I did a first half analysis, which you'll see. It's a bit. You're going to see it's a little bit brighter now, anyway. So, so the first half was pretty poor. I, there's no two ways about that. Um, that's probably why we went into half time one nil down. But poor passion again. Just it's almost like we we've had a week off and done nothing. Not even played together. Beto Calvert Lewin linked up a little bit. And you know, probably could have happened up uh, a chance for Beto to score there. Other than that, I don't think there was a great deal to talk about in that first half. Um, Michalenko with a chance to you know just put it just in front of um, the six yard box, it didn't go, go, quite go our way. As I said, Beto's opportunity um, from Onana's shot, but you just thought Luton were it, it was two shy teams, let's, let's be honest, in that first half, and you know. But Luton edged it slightly, and that's how they got their goal. You can claim that maybe there's a show on Carvalt Lewin, but I think Carvalt Lewin's got to do better. It's poor, you know, the fact that we were playing that bad and you know, not doing anything with the ball just far too many heavy passes, far too many, you know, just going into tackles and not coming out with the second ball, which we've done time and time and time again in this Everton side. Um, you know, Luton are probably agreed not to have gone maybe two up. They could, they could have had another another um, another goal with that as it just went went, went wide. Um, but again, I think it's VAR. I think it's poor refereeing because how does that Lukongo still on the pitch at half time? It was unbelievable. That, I mean, Calvert Lewin got sent off for that tackle in the um, in the last round. Similar tackle on McNeil through his shin, not even looking for the ball, not in control, didn't even look at it. VAR has looked at the goal and probably deemed as not enough, so whatever. We, you know, probably deserve to go win 1 0 down in that first half. So, second half has to be a lot better. Um, and I'm actually doing this as I'm going along, so it's half time now um, and we're 1 0 down. I'm hoping, I eat, I'm hoping I eat my words by the second half, but honest to God, I don't think we should be looking at paying any money for Beto I don't think he's good enough I, it, and you can stop me in the comments and say oh well he's not getting enough run of games I don't think he's that good I think he's poor, hopefully second half playing in the 4-4-2 with Calvert-Lewin they realise oh shit we actually have to put the ball in the net between us and you know we might get a bit of a better second half but we'll see and then came the second half which was no better, really. Yeah, we got the equaliser through Jack Harrison and a ball from Beto. Okay, that's probably about all he managed, really. I think he got bullied a lot. He got caught in possession a few times. I think we did all this. I don't think I don't think there's anyone there who comes out with any kind of credit. Maybe Al Virginia for a couple of really big saves and at the start of the second half. Mm. <sighs> Bitter one to swallow again. So you know we've given this we've given a uh, goal away. Cheaply set pieces. That's what it is. We can we cannot take set pieces. They they've taken two good set pieces and scored from both. Um, we don't do that. We cannot put a cross in. We don't beat the first man. We had plenty of free kicks in and around the area. Couldn't swing a couldn't swing a ball in. Couldn't beat the first man. Couldn't hit a blue shirt. Story of our season. You know everyone's everyone will probably say that. Okay, well. Beto and DCL didn't get the service. They they didn't. They really, really didn't. And that's probably the story of the game. No one's given these players the service and providing a cross or a killer pass for a goal. You know, and that, and that's the that's the big issue with it. You know, we played two up front there for that for most of the second half, and it took us sixty eight minutes to get a corner. I think I think Luton had four or five in the first half, and then a, a couple in the second, and he took full advantage of it because. We just did. We just. I don't know whether we ran out of steam, whether we were just throwing everything, uh, throwing everything forward that we were just hoping that it would fall nicely and we can clear it. Just didn't. They, they, they've come with a plan, stuck to it, done it nicely. Someone needs to get. Someone needs to get a grip of these players, these wide players. Dwight McNeil wasn't even. May as well have not been on the pitch in that in that game at all. Dan Juma, 
if you're not going to give the ball to the lad on the left with Michalenko, what's he going to do? No wonder he's. I thought he's actually, I thought he's actually already gone to Leon, but you know, if he's going to go, he's going to go. Just all round poor. You know, even with the equaliser, you thought, well, fucking hell, this it still isn't good enough. It's still not been a very good game. It's not been exciting. The Everton fans booing at the end. Okay, I can, I can get the frustration. <laughs> it's another, it's another fucking season without a fucking a cup run or a trophy or anything else. And we do, we're just back to square one again. So I, I, we could, I think, really, yeah, a win would have been great. I really could have done without a replay anyway. I'm not, I'm not trying to say, you know, I'm trying to get out of it and stuff like that. But I just think a replay would have been another game that we could have done without when we're struggling for players and we've got a, a you know, any kind of squad if you like at the moment so let me know your thoughts i'm sure everyone's going to be pretty pissed off in the comments and yeah i feel your pain um get a crack on and concentrate on the league and i think that's what we're going to do with this deduction there's going to, there's going to be more twists in the tail with the points deduction richard masters in the premier league so watch this space so what the fucking toffees colin jong see you in a bit